Forza Horizon 5 shipped with an exciting creative mode called Event Labs. It allowed you to create your own game modes and tracks, including the placement of props like barriers and grandstands. Long story short, it was basically Halo Forge for cars. And it's absolutely awesome. But ever since that launch, it has had two major flaws which have ruined the Event Labs experience for many people. The first one is that you could not save a track or project while you were building it. You had to make the whole thing in one go. And the second issue was just as bad if you somehow dedicated all that time to building something and then hit publish, you could not go back and edit it after it was shared. If you screwed up, it was screwed up forever. Well, I'm very happy to report that as part of the latest update for Forza Horizon 5, which is out right now, both of these issues have been fixed. Thank you, Playground Games. Now this is obviously fantastic news. If you wanna work on something really ambitious, you can take your time, you can make it over days, months, or even years if your project is that big. And of course, if you're like me and you have an event out there which is slightly busted, I'm looking at you, Riverside Grand Prix, you can finally jump back in, which I will be doing, and fix the problems. Another Events Labs issue that has been fixed has to do with the street racing start locations. Up until now, if you wanted to make your own circuit and custom routes from one of those starting locations, the red flares from the original track would be stuck in your blueprint builder, making it really, really difficult for you to actually make something original. That has fortunately being fixed and that's great news because that opens up even more starting locations for our own tracks and the ideas we want to build. Now one issue I haven't been able to ascertain if it's been fixed or not has to do with prop despawning. I've had this issue quite a lot with my friends as we've been racing where we load up a custom track that one of us had made with props like barriers for example and the props just aren't there. It's just checkpoints and there's no collision either where the object should be. The props just simply disappear. Now this glitch also seems to have an evil twin where the props will disappear for half the players but still be there for the other half. So let's say worst case scenario, you're playing a maze map. Other players can simply be lying straight to the finish line while the rest have to navigate their way around the props that they can actually see and collide with. In better news, the glitch does seem quite rare. We only seem to get it sort of 10% of the time we try to start an event. And even if we do, if we restart that same event, normally everything works as intended second time round. But nevertheless, it is an annoyance. So here's hoping it has been fixed. As I mentioned, I haven't been able to spot it in the patch notes myself just yet. But if you guys have, or you've caught word that it has also been addressed in this update, please let me know in the comments so I can jump back into Forza with peace of mind. But even if that glitch is still out there in the wild, there is no doubt that today's news is great news. Event Labs and the Blueprint Builder are fantastic features in this game and now they're so much more accessible thanks to this update. I had actually put a pause on my own custom circuits until these features release so I hope you're looking forward to seeing some more custom circuits from myself built here on the channel and be sure to let me know in the comments guys what do you want Playground Games to tackle next with the Event Labs and Blueprint mode. Personally I would love to see a few more objects added and also the snapping feature. The ability to snap barriers together I think is a huge big ticket item that I hope they tackle with many others in the future. But for the time being I'm going to be celebrating this massive win today. I cannot wait to jump back into the game and I cannot wait to see what the Forza community do with these added features.